Hello, welcome to Creep on June. It's Chantal from Red Page Cafe. Um, Tracy asked me if we could, if I could join the collaboration for Creep on June. Um, and she let us use this huge, huge kit. It's called Halloween Mega Matchbook Minis. So there is all kinds of different um, matchbook boxes like this that you can create um i will not create one today <clears throat> we're just going to make ephemera um if you i will link uh in my description below all the awesome um daily makes uh tracy does a really great um explanation of how to make uh, the box but i thought that we could make ephemera because we can always use ephemera in our journals. I know I can for Halloween and uh, for Creep on June. So I've made a couple. I usually start with a base, which is usually a piece of scrap paper or um, scrapbooking paper, whatever you've got. So this is just a dr darker piece of tea dyed paper that I had. So I figured I would start with that. I've got one done right here. I've got one kind of started over here. And then I thought I would just bring you along for a little bit. So we'll do a couple together and then I'll show you the ones I've made over here. So I hope that you come and you craft along with me this morning. And I hope that you guys are having such a great time and I hope you're actually joining along and creating and having so much fun on Creep on June. So what I usually do is I start with the base. Like I said, this one's pretty much done. I was felt like it needed something. So I'm, I think I'm just going to sew around to give it, I've got red sewing thread in my machine, which is not turned on yet. I tend to not glue things. Well, not right away anyways, I'll glue the corners after. I'm going to move a couple things here so I can actually get to my machine because, as you can tell, there's stuff everywhere. So, we're going to move these guys out of the way. So, I think I'm going to put you down and go like that for now. What a great way to start. <laughs> My thread came out. So I hope you guys are all well. And just be aware, I've got a very spooky chair going on. It keeps creaking on me. So if you hear a creaking noise, that is my chair. <laughs> what I'm making right now is a circle. Because I want to kind of make a, like a messy circle where I'm going to put my raven. Now, here, don't stress too much about it. Might be more like an oval, but that's okay. Because I want to do a couple times around. So I'm going to... the messy look so there we go there's a circle and then I'm just going to so these uh, little little um, I don't even know These little embellishments can be used on tags, like they can be used on a pocket, they can be used just in a corner to decorate your page. Um, I just like having them around. You can keep them all. And the thing is, if you make them like this on a sheet of paper, you can keep them 
like in a folder or just all together. And I, and then that way, if you want something, you can grab it, or you can have them in little, little pieces like that. Like I'll show you. I'll show you how you can use them after. There you go. I feel like it needs something, but I don't know what it is. So we'll just leave it for now. Now we've got these really cool gravestones that I've just been eyeing. So we're going to do use this guy as a base. Okay, so I'm gonna just go and go with this for now and just have fun with it. Don't overthink it. Another thing you can use is um, this is way too big. can be very simple or as now these little pieces started <laughs> in this little tin but you know something which is not what I want to spill on you and that's what exactly what usually happens I get sidetracked and then I make more than one, which is fine. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And I've got this guy too. We could make it something with it. And I think this one is on cardboard. I was gonna, I'm just contemplating. I should just um, add it to a background. And that's exactly what happened. I get so well, that's kind of cute. And you could just pretty much the sky is fine. These are little scraps from my paper when I was so you can definitely use these. Throw those out. <laughs> Maybe like that. And then I'm going to sew around. Like how it made that little knot or whatever. I'm wondering if I should use a little bat. No, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to add this. we go. So I'll just show you different ways that you can use these. There's so many we could just go with and I'm just gonna make one or two because otherwise I don't want my um, this video to be crazy long. So you could just stick it on here if you wanted to or you could here's one of my journals. This is a Vada Spooky journal that I made a long time ago um, but anyways we'll find a page and I'll kind of, kind of show you there we go so this is a flippity floop you could definitely stick it like that here's another one that you could have you know like this you could sew it around and make it into a tuck for example so there's 
for this one. There goes my chair. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's another one. And then here's this one. So just play. It's all about just trying different things. See how you can use it in the corner. And then this one I gave it some dimension a little bit. It's a little spider. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of on cardboard there. And here's another one. So you could definitely put it in the corner like this, sew around, or even put it on thicker cardstock um, so that you can make like a pocket or whatever you really want. And then there's this guy. And then there's this one. So how I do it with the base is once I've got my little collage like these guys I just take see how it's got some sewing I just take it like this <laughs> look at my nails it's hilarious and then so and then you just rip it in and there you go just like that and then you can ink it make it like a little grungier you can even fold it like that let's do this one real quick like use your that's why my nails are so so full of ink just use your fingers to create these um little folds in your paper so that it makes it look more antique and older Because when you see antique paper, there's always these little word folded or. You can also rip it, fold it some more. And then it just gives it character, right? There we go. And then you use it on your different pages like so. You can use it in a corner like that. There's so many ways that you can use these and they're so fun. And then your base at least gives you a base to get started. It can be music paper, it can be scrapbooking paper. Here's another one. So there's another piece of paper you could use or like I've got these scrapbooking papers as well. You could use it as a base. But the, the, the bottoms of the box, depending on the size you want to make, of course, and just play. So I hope that you enjoyed, and it was a little short one, but uh, hope you're taking care and you're having fun with this kit. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.